Hey there, I'm Steve and welcome to Jamson Entertainment. The other day I saw War for Planet of the Apes and it was better than the first two? Which in my opinion isn't very difficult to do. The first two are filled with plot holes. I know I said I was going to do a prep work for them. I'm more than likely just going to do a throwback review for both of them at the same time. This one has less plot holes and it even starts out with text explaining what happened in the last two. So that makes this movie even more confusing. Is it supposed to be a standalone? Is it supposed to be a sequel? I mean, obviously it is a sequel, but why would they make it so you can watch it by itself? <sighs> and yet these movies are widely popular for some reason. I seem to be the only one. I don't know if there are others out there who look at these and scratch their head and just wish they would leave this franchise alone and and just let the 60 ones be the definitive version. War for Planet of the Apes does tie in nicely to the 60 versions which makes you wonder are they going to remake the Planet of the Apes again or, or are they simply going to stop here and this movie is supposed to take place right before Planet of the Apes, the Charlton Heston version, not the Tim Burton version. Andy Serkis, of course, does a fantastic job once again, and Woody Harrison also does a good job. His character, Woody's, I mean, think Zod from Man of Steel, but downplayed just a little bit. I mean, Woody gets a little over the top, but not so much as Michael Shannon in Man of Steel. But the motives are very similar. I would say the biggest plot hole in this movie is that they simply make the humans dumb. Now grant you, the only humans they really show are soldiers. Woody Harrison is playing this colonel. And here, here's the big problem. They show you in the very beginning of the movie that humans have the advantage 100%. And yet, despite that, they are dumb. Now, not so Alien Covenant dumb, the apes deserve to win. I'll go into more detail on this with the next video that talks about Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and I'll touch on War for Planet of the Apes in that video. If you've seen the latest ape movie, please let me know in the comments below what your thoughts were. Next movie to see is Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets, and shortly following after that will be Dunkirk. I can't wait to see both of them. Valerian is the same guy who did Fifth Element and Lucy. I haven't seen Lucy. I heard it was okay. But I love Fifth Element. It's awesome. And this one has more of a Fifth Element vibe, and I can't wait to watch it. And Dunkirk just looks like an amazing World War II movie. If you like what you saw, like it. If you think other people will like it, share it. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. And remember, live your imagination.